And as we go further along, it gets crazier and crazier. Like the previous, and I hope you're watching every one of these in order. Please do that. Okay, we have the two gram bottle of whatever this stuff is, Maxipine. And look at, oh my goodness gracious alive. So we have, there is a one gram bottle. There's a two gram bottle. Of course, we have the two gram bottle. What if we had the one gram bottle? We don't, but what if we did? Then look at that. If I have the one gram bottle, I'm giving it by IV, I do it one way. If I have the one gram bottle and doing it intramuscularly, I do it a different way. But I'm doing neither of these, I'm doing what? I've got the two gram bottle, I'm gonna give here. Now, if I have, for some reason, I don't know why, if I've got the two gram bottle, all I'm allowed to do is give it by IV. So assume you have a problem on the quiz and it says, okay, give blah, 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 certain amount of maxipine IV. Well, I've got the two gram bottle. I'm giving it intravenously. So here's what I must do. There's the amount of diluent. I put in 10 milliliters. You see that number. Now here's how much total liquid is in the bottle. I don't need to know that number. There's 12.5 mils of liquid in the bottle now. What I wanna know is how strong is it? What's the dosage strength? Right there, 160 milligrams per milliliter. So knowing I've got the two gram bottle, I'm giving it by IV. There's the 10, I had 10 milliliters of diluent. And now how strong is it? 160 milligrams per milliliter. That's what I use. 160 milligrams per milliliter. That's what I use in my dosage calculations.